Hello? Are you okay? You know, there's something wrong. No. I just had a weird dream, that's all. No, I'll talk to you about it when I see you, okay? Slow down. What's the matter? I think that guy's mad at me because I ran into him with my bike today. Each day, the number of women and children kidnapped for human trafficking increases. It's you. <laughs> Every minute wasted is another person's hate. I hope that one day we can change the world together. Me too. I have a gift for you, by the way. You've already given me a gift. What was that? Our wedding next week? That's the only gift I need. <laughs> okay. Well, regardless. <sighs> you are a gift from God. Okay, Mom. I miss you, too. I'll go get Dad. Here's Dad. Come on, lady. You have a school tomorrow, okay? You need to go to bed. But I'm not tired. No. Okay. Kathy? <laughs> How's everything? Now, this is Emily. How old is she? Old enough. Can't stand that newswoman. That smug little smile. Her? All she does is report on human trafficking. It's bad for business. Come in. Hey, I was hoping you'd still be here. I brought you some coffee. Oh. Thank you, I, I really needed this. Yeah, sure. What's wrong? We live in the 21st century and we still have slavery. Look at this. Human trafficking is nothing different than slavery. It's one of the oldest forms of business and it's been around for thousands of years and nothing is gonna change unless we do something about it. Let's take her. 
Yeah. That's a good idea. You serious? Teach her a lesson. I can tell you're pretty passionate about this. I promise you, I'm going to use everything in God's power to expose this. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> oh, if your parents were alive, they'd be so proud of you. <laughs> I'm so sorry I can't go to your wedding. It's, it's the day after my surgery. It's okay. We'll be there in spirit, Grandma. Mm. Just rest and take it easy. Are Natalie's parents still, uh, are they in Africa, or is it, or China? They're in Africa. Mm. They're building an orphanage. They didn't want us to wait. Looks like somebody's getting married. Let's give her a wedding gift she won't forget. Huh. <laughs> hey. Hi. How's work? We did this store in an orphanage today. And it's weird, I, I was thinking about it and I, I always thought that that's what I was gonna get into. What changed? In high school, I, I just, I always wanted to expose the truth. Show people what's right and wrong. It's important, you know? Like human trafficking. I mean, it's horrible what these evil people are doing to these poor children. They abduct them and they sell them into sex slavery and so many people don't even realize. You know what I really love about you? Your passion. Is it the only thing you love about me? You ready for lunch? <laughs> yes, I'm so hungry. Oh, Sandy. Ah, you're the best. Anything to make you happy. <laughs> Trent, we having fun? There's something wrong with Candy. Did you give her too much again? She asked for a lot, but I only gave her a little. Come here. Come here. Candy, get up. Come here, you idiot. Look at her! Look at her and throw your fault! I told you not to give her too much! I told you! Get out of my face! Get out of here! Look, you don't say a word. I don't want to hear anything from you. Don't look at me! We can't have this. This is my money! Come here. Let's go. From this day, the two of you will become one. No one can separate you. Do you guys want to say something? I do. Levi, you are my soulmate. You are my better half. And I will love you forever. Natalie, I'm always going to love you. And no matter what happens, I promise I'll be right there beside you. And now I present to you, Mr. and Mrs. Knight. I've been waiting for this moment all day. Did you notice the pastor said our name's wrong? <laughs> I was so nervous, I didn't even notice until people laughed. <laughs> wow. 
I'll wear this ring forever as long as I live. I'm never gonna take it off. Let's say you're gonna live to your 110. Only 110? How about 111? How about 111 and a half? Okay, don't get too greedy, okay? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how far medical science will advance, but one thing I can promise you is that no matter how old you get, no matter how far life takes us, I'm always going to dance with you like we are right now, in this moment, under these stars. Just you and me. Nobody else. I promise. <laughs> and you said you were a bad dancer. All I did was spin you. You're the amazing one here, as always. You know that, right? Mm. You always make me feel so special and beautiful. I'm never gonna let anything keep you away from me. Even in death, we'll walk together in heaven. <laughs> Looks like they love each other a lot. There's no love in this world. Come on, man. Are you telling me you've never loved anybody? No true love. Remember that. All right, let's go. Levi, this place is beautiful. Wow. I'll just be a minute. What do you think? Wow. Well. Thank you. Let's toast to the future. Our future. <laughs> mm. Sweet, just like you. Oh my gosh, uh, that looks bad. No, it's okay, it's, it's, it's let, fine. Let it's... No, 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 no. I'm so sorry. It's okay, I... here, use this, okay? Thank you. It looks bad, I'm gonna need to get a band-aid, okay? No, I'm fine, I promise. I'll be right back, all right? I'm going right to the car, right back, all right? Okay. Hurry back, I miss you already. your phone. Mine seems to be dead and I need to call for a ride. Yeah. I always need to help a friend in need. There you go. Thank you. Okay.
Thank you so much, and God bless you. Thank yeah. you. Natalie. I'll wear this ring forever, for as long as I live. I'm never gonna take it off. Oh my God. Natalie! Natalie! I need to report a missing person. My wife, Natalie Winters, maybe 30 minutes now? No, no, you don't understand. We just got married, this is our honeymoon. No, no, no. Natalie! Why do you look so happy? I have a new friend. We can talk anytime we want. But I was your best friend. We can talk anytime. Not like that. What do you mean? Well, we have a curfew and he doesn't. Who is it? His name's Ben. I'm gonna meet him real soon. You wanna get ice cream? Yeah, sure. It's about time you're home. Where's Emily? She's a school, she'll be back soon. Kathy, I've been missing you so much, my beautiful English flower. Well, I've missed you so much too. How's your mom? She's doing much better, by the grace of God. Have you been shopping? No. We'd better see what we've got to cook for dinner. I want to see my mom. Oh. You better go see your mom. No. Not again, please, no. It's all right, it's all right. No. No. Johnny's been snatching a lot of boys off the streets. They're ready to be sent to Germany. Okay. Bye. Good hair. Good teeth. Good skin. Great job. Germans can't wait to get their hands on these boys. What about Poland? Don't they want some boys too? Go out later and snatch some more. There'll be plenty out tonight. I can't believe she's missing. If I look where I find her. It's just so surreal. Paul, I don't even know where to begin. Didn't she just do that report on human trafficking? Hey, hey, wake up. Please let me go. I promise I won't say anything to anyone. Just please, I promise you. Slapper. When you pass through the waters, no. I will be with you. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow you. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned. Please. Nor shall the flames scorch you. Save these Alright, some better. I bet she's hungry, man. We should get her something to eat. She'll be fine. Uh, just give me 10 minutes, please. 
Sir, we have an appointment. My time is just as valuable as yours. Natalie Winters. From the news station, right? Yeah, your secretary showed me in. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm glad to have you. Great. So you ready? I just want to get this shot over with. Awesome. Listen, I'm, I'm really sorry if I was rude before. It's fine. I just don't understand how this could happen. We just got married last night. Up until yesterday, I was the happiest man in the world. Now I'm miserable. Next time you visit Grandma, can I come? Of course you can, sweetie. Grandma misses you. Emily really misses your cooking more than anything. Mm. Your cooking's not that bad. Yeah, but only when I'm at the grill. But I'm still hungry. Can I, I love... be excused? Sure. Mm. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. I heard you giggling. Who are you talking to? A friend. Will you just remember that God is watching everything? Mm -hmm. All right, young lady. I'll sleep well, okay? Listen, I need to report a missing person. Sir, I'm not able to do that until she's been missing for 24 hours. I'm sorry, sir. Her life is in danger. Where is my wife? Hey, hey, Levi, listen. I know this is incredibly hard for you. All right, but you got to believe. Look at me. You gotta believe that she's gonna be okay. All right, two more hours will be 24. Two more <laughs> hours will be 24. report a missing person. My wife, she's been missing for 24 hours now. I'm sorry, our policy states we can't do anything unless it's 48 hours or more. 48 hours? 48 hours, sir. <laughs> That's funny, because I was told it was 24. And now it's 48? My wife reports for the Channel 3 News. And she was kidnapped the night of her honeymoon. Do you see the problem here? Yes, sir, I do. Uh, let me go talk to my sergeant and see what he says. I'll be right back. Hey. Look, uh, I'm sorry about what's happened to your wife. What'd you say your name was again? Natalie Winters. Let me take a look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I recognize her from the local news. So you guys just got married, right? Yeah. Listen, is there anything we can do to get the ball rolling and we can go out there and look for her and... Yeah, I wish there was something we could do. But uh, we do have a policy. When an adult goes missing, we can't do anything about it until 48 hours is passed. I just don't understand. Why do we have to wait 48 hours? Calm down, sir. I understand your frustration, but we need to follow the rules. How can you tell me to calm down when my wife is out there missing? I just don't... None of this makes sense to me! Forget this. I don't need your guys' help. I'm gonna find her on my own.
Hello? Hey, what time are we going swimming? Maybe later this afternoon. Why so late? I told you, I'm meeting my new friend today. Oh, I forgot. Okay, talk to you later. Okay, bye. Hello, my good friend. Ben? Finally we meet, give me a hug. Oh, it's so good to see you. Finally good to meet you. Do you want to get some ice cream? Sure. Let's get some ice cream. Who's that girl? Sandy, my little sister. She's pretty. Yeah, someday I'd like to introduce you to her. She's only two years older than you. I wish I had an older sister. Would you rather have an older brother or an older sister? Oh. Hey there. Look who's here. What are you doing here? I just wanted to be here to meet a new friend. I heard you talking about it. I'm Emily. Nice to meet you. Ben always talks about you. Oh, what kind of ice cream would you want? Just chocolate. Go get some. Thanks. She's a really happy girl. Uh, she's really happy most of the time. Hey, Al, I'll be right back. Excuse me, ma'am, have you seen this woman right here? Could you hold on to that for me? Um, I'm having a party tonight. Would you like to come? Where? It's my house. It's close to here. Sounds like fun. A lot of kids will be there. We'll play games and swim probably if it's not too cold outside, but... You should go home. Your mom's probably waiting for you. I should probably go home and get ready for my party. Um, if you can't come tonight, maybe you could come next week. I'll have a party next week, too. You guys have a party every week? Family likes to have a good time. Well, maybe next week. You want me to take you home? No, I have no bike. I think you'd have a lot of fun if you came. But if you can't, you can't. Maybe I could come for a little while. Great. Well, come on. Let's go. I can't believe they're not going to do anything. Yeah, they're a bunch of idiots. Guess the only thing we do at this point is pray. Yeah. Grandma called. She wants you to give her a call when you get a chance. Okay? Okay. I got it. Getting tired, man. I'm gonna find a place to pull over soon. I don't know, Jim. There's something special about this one. They're all special. Hey. 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 No. Should give her some more. No, 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 not, no, 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 no more no, of that, please. Listen, no. Is this me? I'm good. She'll be begging for more.
Hey, how's business? I got two more girls. Can I leave in the morning? Doing a good job, Dean. Yeah, go ahead. Take one of the new girls with you. See. She'll leave those girls with me. If that's all right with you. I think I'm gonna hold on to them for a little while longer. All right. That's Mark, the guy I was telling you about. He's taking care of some very special merchandise. Never been touched. Good. In the United States alone, 300,000 people are lost to human trafficking per year. Once abducted, they get them hooked on drugs. 20 million throughout the entire world. The rate up to 20 times a day. Even children as young as three years old. The life expectancy, four to seven years. It is absolutely crucial to educate parents. The FBI says their rescue rate is one half of 1%. God, please guide me. Show me. Where are they hiding now? Five girls in there now. For some reason, this woman, she reminds me of my mom and sister. Can't have feelings for these girls, man. I miss them both. You hold yourself, man. Okay, you're right. You're right. Get her up. Hey, wake up. Wake up. No, no, get wake off up. me! Somebody help me, please! God will judge you! There is no God. All right, now you listen to me. We're gonna get out of this car. And if you make a single sound, a single sound, the so-called husband of yours is gonna die. All right, let's go. Yeah. No. Should be home by now. She's with Joy, right? There's something just doesn't feel quite right. I what? Don't know. Well, then wash my hands and I go handle it. Levi. Levi. Please call your pastor in the church and ask him to pray for Natalie. This is much bigger than I thought. Just remember, God is in charge. Please pray for her protection. Natalie's life's in danger if she's even still alive. What are you saying? It's all I know at this point. Listen, I love you. God, what is happening? Jesus. 
I know that you know where Natalie is. I pray that you bring her back to us safe. I also pray that you give strength to my two grandsons, Paul and Levi. Bring them peace. Have some. Thanks. Is it good? Mm-hmm. Do you want some more? No, I'm good. you everything, you wouldn't really understand. I'm sorry. No, please. Will you help me? Shh, shh, shh. Please. Please. Listen to me. Just call me. Natalie. How are my girls doing today? Please let me go. I told you to be a good girl. No, 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 please. Good job. Now take her cell phone. You need to keep her quiet. Excuse me, sir? Yeah, what's up? Have you seen this woman right here? No, I haven't seen her. Could you keep an eye out? Yeah, absolutely. Can I keep this? Yeah. Please. All right, hope you find her. Thank you. She's not answering. Well, that kind of behavior is not acceptable. She knows the rules. Let me try her. Just put it on silent. It's her mom. Everybody has a mom. Hey. Except you. Remember, you don't have anybody except me. You're my only family. Had a girl. Aunt Melissa, can I have these? We only have $20 left on our food stamps this month. I'm so sorry. Hey, hey, hey. How's my friend doing? You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Every day, more and more people are disappearing because of human trafficking. Little kids, and now my wife has been missing for two days. Has it been 48 hours yet? Almost. You know, I've been thinking about your wife. I believe it's sex trafficking. Oh, is that right? I mean, how can you be sure of that? What do you mean by that? I, I'm just thinking, you know, maybe she got cold feet. Are you kidding me? Me and my wife waited a long time to get married. It was our dream, okay? That is not the case. Ah, you left your sunglasses. Keep them. Well, they're not Prada, but they'll do. Oh yeah, she's sleeping like an angel. 
Well, I guess I could say I have a good teacher. Yeah, uh, she's great. Yeah. Yeah, we should be there sometime tomorrow. Troy, is Emily with you? No, I haven't seen her all day. Do you know where she went? When I talked to her this morning, she said she's gonna meet up with her new friend. <laughs> Who are you talking to? A friend. Troy, do you know where she went to meet her new friend? Can I help you? Have you seen this woman right here? No, I haven't seen her. You gotta look at this. It's saying American children are being taken to Boys Town in Thailand. They want children of every different color, but they'll pay four times as much for Americans. This has to stop. I mean, it says here it's, I mean, it's happening everywhere. You talked to the police again yet? I think this job might be too big for the police. I'm gonna have to handle this myself. Listen, I'm your brother. You know I got your back. Just tell me how I can help. It's just so surreal. But in my heart, I know she's alive. You can pray all you want. Nothing's gonna happen. My God is more powerful than all of you. Soon he'll bring everything to light and nothing will be hidden. You really think I'm gonna get caught? sins if you repent. <laughs> I have nothing to repent for. Nothing. You may be able to hurt my body, but you'll never be able to touch my soul. Watch me. Your soul belongs to me. <laughs> my soul only belongs to my God. <laughs> hey, do I know you from somewhere? Sandy! Hurry up! I gotta go. I need to make a list. Friends, family, anybody she may have had contact with. Has she mentioned anybody new recently? She said something about a new friend a few days ago. Tell me about this new friend. I don't really know much about him. Okay, I need you to think back and tell me absolutely everything that Emily ever told you about this new person. <laughs> That's really all I know. You starting to like this girl? I don't know, Jim. She reminds me of my sister. We may have given her too much, so you probably have to carry her. Let's go. My wife. 
she's missing. That's too bad. If you happen to see her around, would you mind calling me? I don't think I'll see her, but you bet. I, I appreciate it. yourself. He's shipping you out of here real quick. You guys will pay for this. You're right. I'm gonna get paid real well for this. <laughs> Mind your own business. Hey, don't talk to him like that. I like him. Well, do I get my money back or something? I don't give refunds, but I'll show you a good time. Yeah, okay. I'll be about bye an bye. hour. Wait for me. You shouldn't do this, ma'am. I'll show you a good time, too. You don't need to do this. You have to help me, please. I'm gonna help you, okay? I'll see you. I'll see you, man. See you soon. You're lucky. Don't you know who that is? No, who is he? <gasps> enough is enough! Can anybody hear me? God is watching everything that you are doing. I am not for sale! Ooh, ah, come on, put that woman in her place. Can I get a drink over here? Where are we? We're almost there. Do you want a hot dog? Yeah. No one is pleased, but just catch up. All right. I'll be right back. She'll probably be asleep another 12 hours. Watch her anyway, just in case. She's a pretty girl. I like that stuff I gave her. If you want some more, you have to listen good, OK? I know. And princess, you're prettier than her. All right, I'll be back. I knew you'd wait for me. Hey, if you have any time, I was wondering if I could ask you some questions. Sure. But I'm starving. Feed me first. Okay, I guess. Who is that? He's just checking that I'm okay. Like your pimp. Yeah, I guess you could call him that. Hey, listen, if you ever need any help, 
and you want to get out of this, please let me know. I'm Rose, by the way. How come you're not eating? Have you seen her? She's beautiful. Who is she? That's my wife. She's been missing. How long has she been missing? For three days. I haven't seen her, but sometimes I take them to Florida. Florida? Maybe not. They wouldn't get too much for her. She's already married. Please, tell me more. If you want to know more, you got to pay for my time. How about a thousand? How about I give you more after we talk? Let's go to a motel room. Hey, no, we can talk right here. Too many eyes. Come on. Listen, I just want to talk, okay? Well, talk. So does that guy follow you everywhere? It's his job. How does that even happen? Where's your family? You didn't want me. Left home when I was 15. I was living on the streets. And then I got snatched up and sold to Jeff. Here? I got snatched in Australia but sold right here in Texas. It happens everywhere. All the time. I don't like this guy. Seems like he has money. He's trouble. What's wrong? Are you being a good girl? I'm good. Does the good girl want some more? That's why I'm here. Give me a kiss. Now go inside and I'll bring you some more. Go on, go. Listen, I'm married. Mm. Most of my customers are married. Well, the Bible has a thing or two to say about that. I don't want to have to hear what the Bible has to say. Be sure. Jesus wants to save you. You really believe that? I do. You look smarter than that. Jesus loves you. What do you want to know? Ask me anything. You want to know where your wife is? I need to find her before it's too late. I haven't seen her, but I know someone who might have. She watches everyone who comes and goes. Yeah, can you take me to her? Do you know where she is right now? Uh, not until we've finished business. Take it easy, please, take it easy. Uh, you're no fun. She's cute. Yeah. She'll probably wake up in a couple hours. She's going to Cuba, too. You're, you're not sending me to Cuba, right? Oh, no, princess. You're my partner. 
She's a good helper. I do my best. Now, where's your new partner at? We'll be here soon. I got your room a couple doors down. Take care of your business. I'll bring her over later. All right, let's go. Sending everyone to Cuba. <laughs> that soon. No, it's just that I was thinking of keeping them around a little longer. They're doing quite well. Right. Yes, Rose. What? <laughs> if it's two girls he wants, it's two girls he's gonna get. Tell them okay. Hey, hey, please. I told you I'm married. You're so different. Well, I'm different because of God. I told you, I didn't believe in that stuff. Stop. It doesn't matter if you believe if he's real or not. idea where her new friend lives. No. Please, Joy. She didn't say anything. I don't know anything. I'm sorry. Okay. Thank you, dear. First they kidnap them. And then they beat them. And then they give them drugs. And then sex. I have another picture of her, maybe. This will help you. Look, I told you I haven't seen her. I... My friend's on her way. Maybe she knows something you can ask her when she gets here. What are these kids doing out here so late? They all look like Emily. They need a lot of help. Put your clothes back on. He's not that kind of customer. He's a gentleman. My name's Levi. You're not on cover, are you? No, I, I'm looking for my wife. I can't help you. Okay. 
Take all of it. What do you want to know? I'm looking for my wife. No, I, I've never seen her. You know her, don't you? I... You've seen her before. That's my wife. Please, please tell me. If you know where my wife is, just please, just tell me. Please. What the, don't, please. Don't ask me again, all right? I said I never saw her. I, I'm just here to give you a good time, okay? That's what all men want. My good time is you, is you helping me find my wife. Look, Jeff's watching. What time is it? Is it more money? You guys want more money? Is that what this is? Look, we gotta go. My God is bigger than your fear. What was he when I did him? He was always here. All you have to do is ask. Hey. You're a loser. I just wanted to say that. Go home, little boy, before I put you to work. You're not going to get away with what you're doing here. There is a God, and he's watching you. <laughs> Let me ask you something. If there is a God, how come the bad guy has all these pretty girls and the money and the good guy is running around and just can't seem to find his pretty little wife. Come here! Don't you talk about her! You're not worth it! Excuse me, sir. Have you seen this woman right here? No. Well, thanks anyways. Levi seems like a nice guy. I hope he finds his wife. You care. Why are you so upset? You've seen his wife, haven't you? Look, if you change your mind, call him. How much? Ten dollars for the homeless. I used to be homeless. They just did a nice job. Can I bring my other car back later? <laughs> sure. Wow, sounds great. Be back in a couple hours. Thanks.
Mom, we should run away. You go. Whoa, whoa, what are you saying? This is everything I've got. Please, you need to just take it and you need to run. Please. No, 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 you need to run. Go, run. Don't look back. Hello. This is Monica. How can I help you, Monica? I saw your wife. Where is she now? They're taking her to Cuba. Can you tell me more? She's in a motel on 4th. Monica! Monica! They have my wife and they're taking her to Cuba. We'll do our best to stop it. I have to do something. Local police and the FBI will handle this. I at least have to try. Hey, buddy. Hey. Log on the phone? Mm, yeah. Anybody special? Yeah, nobody. You sure? I'm sure. Why are you lying to me? <laughs> Don't you know I can tell when you're lying? Go inside. Now. Get your phone and go inside right now. Go. We're leaving tomorrow. We got two more girls we're going to take with us, too. And if she weren't a virgin, I would enjoy her before I sent her away. What are you looking at me like that for? Do you think God is real? <laughs> nah, he ain't real. I don't know, um, it just feels like something bad is gonna happen, you know? You're just being paranoid, man. Ben's here. I want you to meet him. Run up. Show you what's gonna happen if you lie to me again. I thought you were special. You know that? I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I was gonna make you my girl. You to be my wife. I'm sorry. Can you believe that? <laughs> but you know what I figured out? You're just like all the other girls. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. You are. No. I love you. You're not special at all. You're just like all the other girls. Isn't that right? Isn't that right, Michelle Smalls? I promise I'll be back for good, Mark. I can't stay here. Michelle Smalls, please. Yeah. Misty. Come on in.
You're my new friends. Ben and Sandy. Yeah. You came here to have a party, remember? Can I call my mom to let her know? I need to call my mom. I'm gonna drink first. But I need to call my mom. Drink first. But I need to call my mom. Listen to me. Listen to me. You will do what I tell you to do, all right? No mom, no dad, no cell phone. Drink! <laughs> Give her juice. <laughs> And you make sure she drinks all of it. She is your responsibility. All of it. I guess so. Those girls are being lied to. Everything looks good. You're taking Sandy too. <laughs> Sandy's good for me, but I need the money. Well, all right. What are you doing, Levi? <laughs> I'm not gonna get back up until you say you wanna marry me. Well, I'm not gonna move until you say you're gonna marry me. <laughs> I, wanna, I wanna hear you say it. I wanna hear you say it. I, I wanna marry, marry you. you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take it. You like how I rented out this whole place for us? It's beautiful, Levi. Thank you. said that if we walk through the water, we will not be drowned. <laughs> that if we walk through the fire, we will not be burned. <laughs> Please, God, save us. Meet me at Highway 6, exit 11. There's a field there, southwest corner. <laughs> Please save us from these men. <laughs> they don't know what they're doing. They don't know you. Just God, please. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. Why do you always pray? Because God is in charge, not you. Really? Even after everything you've been through, you still pray? Compared to what Jesus went through on the cross, this is nothing. <laughs> Jesus wants to save you. Take so long. Let's go. Hey, come on, let's go. Hey, come no, on, let's go. No, no, no. Okay, come on, here. No. Let's go. No. Yes. No. Come on.
done deal. We're getting one more girl, right? Deal. Sister! Hey, what are you doing here? Oh, are you hey, you okay? Okay. Get away. Get through me. Knock and it will open. I've been knocking. Excuse me, ma'am? Where did you get this? I found it in room 140. There's no one there now. They're gone. Do you know what they were driving? They're in a white van. License plate DNK 1952. And they're headed east on Highway 36. Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
Hey, you know God can change your life. Do you think God can heal somebody like me? Of course. Just believe from your heart. Come on. Come here. I believe. Pray with me, okay? Jesus. Jesus. Forgive me for all my sins. Forgive me for all my sins. And wash them away. And wash them all away. I believe that you died for me. I believe that you died for me. And rose from the dead. And rose from the dead. I accept you. I accept you. That's my Lord and my Savior. That's my Lord and my Savior. That's enough. Let's go. Wait, That's enough. Come on. Let's go. 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 Let's go.
inability to, to hold eye contact with someone. They're fidgety, they're more nervous in class. Oftentimes their grades will, will plummet, although there are cases where grades actually went up because they had one place where they could succeed. We need to see them as survivors and we need to love them. We need to not pity them. Pity is actually just another form of contempt. My name is Jerome Lam, and I am a survivor of child sex trafficking for seven years, uh, from the age of five into the age of 12. I share my story, but also I try and educate and empower people on what to look for um, if a child's being trafficked. Um, I also uh, try to help um, you know, uh, uh, people who work in airports and hotels uh, learn what the signs are for human trafficking, even taxi drivers. Um, so I try and, and just raise awareness because one of the real problems we have is that what we call domestic minor sex trafficking, which is trafficking of someone under the age of 18 in, in the United States, is, is poorly misunderstood. We don't realize this isn't a third world problem. This is a problem happening in the U.S. and it's not a gender problem or a socioeconomic problem. It's a human problem that we all share. We all have to work together and come together. One thing we have to talk about, which is very important here, is demand. Uh, that's a very big piece in solving this problem. By demand, I mean that we have to change men's perceptions of women. And one of the things that, that I really encourage is that we have to get rid of pornography because pornography is driving demand for, for human trafficking. That's the fuel, that's the gasoline that's driving human trafficking, especially sex trafficking in this country. The best way we can help victims of human trafficking is to let them know that Jesus loves them and to let them know the unconditional love that Jesus offers. Because one of, the, one of the things that makes a person vulnerable to being trafficked is that they've never known unconditional love. And so they wander and drift through their lives desperate for someone to love them the way they deserve to be loved. So if we show them the way Jesus loves them and the way they deserve to be loved, that is a healing balm that will put them on the road to recovery, that will make them a whole person again that will cleanse their heart and their souls of all the pain and suffering they've endured.